Hi kids, it's Nana, and today I am reading Pete the Cat's Groovy Imagination by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat was happy. Today would be so much fun. Chilling out, catching vibes, sand, surfing, and lots of sun. But when Pete looked outside, he got down in the dump sad. Dark clouds and pouring rain could make this day turn out really, really bad. Pete didn't complain. He did not feel blue. Pete knew he could find something to do. Pete drew a cool picture. Pete strummed a little tune until he saw something too good to be true. I wonder what he saw. <gasps> Pete found a box. He looked it up. He looked it down. He turned it side to side. And he spun it all around. The box was brown and it was strong. The box was wide and tall. Maybe this wasn't just any box after all. This box rocks. And the box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. Maybe it was more than a box. Maybe it was more than it seemed. Pete closed his eyes and had an out-of-this-world dream. It has more than a box. It was a groovy rocket ship. Pete saw the moon on his outer space trip. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Blast off! There goes Pete the Cat to the moon. And look at all of the things in outer space. There's a pepperoni pizza, a grape pizza, a lime pizza, so many stars, a satellite. It's amazing. These could be planets, too, FYI. They just look like pizzas to me. Pete was heading home. He landed splash in the sea. Pete had to think fast. Now, what could this box be? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. The box was now a yellow submarine. Pete dived way down into the sea. Pete wore his goggles to see the underwater scene. And there's coral, and there's goldfish. I see an octopus, a blue whale. So many neat things down here. It's so cool. The submarine crashed when it reached land. Now the box was lying sideways in the sand. But what's a cat to do with a box that couldn't stand? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. <gasps> and pretty soon, the box was not just a box lying on its side. It was a cool cat race car, revving for a fast, fast ride. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Pete won the race. Then splat! The race car went flat. Now what good is a box that looks like a mat? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. <gasps> Even though a flat box was not in the plan, he imagined it was a stage for his jamming rock band. Groovy. So awesome. Sometimes our plans just don't go right, but it doesn't mean the day can't be out of sight. If you use your imagination, you will see just how groovy your day can be. When you want to dream of something new, 
Thinking outside of the box is the grooviest thing to do. And that's the end of the story, kids. If you like this story, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, make a comment. Let me know if you like these books, if you want me to read something else. I will certainly try, you know, to find the book. Just leave the name, the title. You don't have to know the author. It's fine. I'll just do a search. And thank you so much for just enjoying my channel. Have a wonderful day and have a rockin' summer.